Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to be talking about the hero Black Panther in the upcoming 6v6 hero shooter Marvel Rivals. I did a video earlier today kind of breaking him down and talking about how to use him, but now I'm going to talk about how I actually feel about him. Um, when compared to the other damaged characters, and I've played all of them outside of Namor and Spider-Man, to be honest, I would rate him either the worst or almost the worth worst with the exception of those two just because i haven't played them he's what he he's is what? trash he's... trash trash not for you but compared to everybody else he's definitely the worst damaged character and here's a couple reasons why the first one is his right click the main problem with it is it, it just doesn't do enough damage it does so little damage that it's almost worthless right it's nine hits to kill another damaged character with 300 health, it takes nine complete hits to, to get it done. And that's just, that just takes way too long. Yeah, well, you know, that's just like uh, your opinion, man. Naturally, you're like, oh, well, he doesn't play with that. He plays with his abilities. Okay, fine. So you do your spear, you do your spirit rend. Oops, I just accidentally killed him. So let's try this one more time. You do your spear, you do your spirit rend, you do your spear again, and hypothetically you do your spirit rend again and you miss. Now, now it, since it's on cooldown, the best thing for you to do is to um, actually hit him with your, your claws. Or maybe you kick again and then you try to hit him with your claws. But even if I kick again, as you can see, or if I spirit rend it again, well no, spirit rend would have been on cooldown. So the only way for me to get back in is the kick, right? Um, I'm not even in range to hit him. So what happens is you're in a situation where you're trying to chase him down like this. Like you see how this tank is moving and I'm like trying to catch up to him and I'm swinging. And by the time you actually get close enough to hit him, that's when uh, a healer will probably come or you know they have some sort of escape and it just doesn't really work well in this same scenario if i were to do my spin kick and it were to stop me like this distance away from the character so i can use my right click it would make it a lot more useful um and that actually brings me into my next point the spin kick on t'challa is just not good the thing about it is it's basically another spear that he has to add a vibranium mark to a target but it's just not as good as the spear because the spear doesn't move you anywhere the spear keeps you stationary and i can throw it and add the mark so i have time to line up my shot which is the spear room right um if the, if the spin kick was, like, stopped me behind, like, and I didn't have to, like, like, distance it myself, like, if it automatically stopped me right here, that would be really good because then it's setting me up to hit him with my claws or whatever. Like, and I'm okay with that. But because it passes through them, it kind of just is a weaker version of the spear with no added benefit because it's also harder to land and does the same amount of damage so it's basically if i would have had three spear charges i'd still be the same character absolute fucking useless now you could make the argument that oh well it's the movement that gives it its benefit but i already have spirit rend so once i do the spear in that why do i need the spinning kick uh, look i i can just as easily do that and boom i still get the move you know it, it, it's just a wasted um move it's it and more than anything it's redundant it doesn't have any properties to it that would actually make me want to use it over the spear especially when my spirit ring already the is the the move that i can use to close the gap the next thing i want to talk about is the fact that t'challa cannot hit people in the air right i understand that it's kind of just a design choice to give him a disadvantage against aerial targets 
but he already has kind of a difficult time in comparison to the other damaged characters taking out people on the ground let alone the fact that he can't hit people in the air like i feel like that's really bogus what i would suggest is that his if you can hit them with a spear um that stun them and like slowly like make them fall from the sky or make it quick i don't i don't know like they they get hit with the spear and then they fall i feel like that would be fair because a it's really it's really hard to hit a flying target with the spear so that it's it's balanced um and there's a reward behind it and it's like okay cool you killed that flying person or you took that flying person out the air and you earned it you know um I honestly, and I would even argue maybe it would be cool if it was like a stun for people on the ground too. I would feel like that would be fair. We'll just balance him out a little bit because when you compare him to the other characters, he just does not have it in his kit. Okay, and finally, I'm going to talk about his ult. He has one of the most underwhelming ults in the game. At first, I thought it was weak because it didn't do enough damage. I was like, why is it that... Black Panther doesn't do any damage with his ult. Then I understood, oh, okay, it's because you want to get another Vibranium mark. But then, playing him in, in, in uh, matches again, I'm just like, you know what? No, it's still garbage. Because, let's, let's count it out. One, with my ult, a Spirit Rend, a Spear, and another Spirit Rend. It takes three additional hits after they got hit with a full ult to kill that doesn't make any sense and the biggest reason why i feel like it's unfair and it doesn't make any sense I is because when you compare black panther to somebody like scarlet day. witch let's look at what her ult does yeah! i all i did was press q that's all i did that was a that was a triple kill and all i had to do was press q and then on top of that, it's the same thing with these uh, with these tanks. All I do is press Q, and it and it kills the, the the tank automatically. But let's see what happens when I use my use my Q with Black Panther on a tank. Look at that. That's not even 50% of his health. And if I follow up with the hit, look. Do you see how much how much work I have to do to get that kill? And honestly, it's all relative. The reason why it's so I feel like it's so bad is because when you compare his ult to everybody else's, it's just doo-doo. Um, hold on. Yeah, uh, Storms, much better. Punisher's much better. Hella's much better. Magic's much better. Iron Man, there isn't one person on this roster who's, uh, the, and I'm only comparing him against the other duelists, who's ultimate is even nearly as garbage as black panthers um i do have a suggestion uh before the game comes out i believe that if huh, you want black panther to play the way the way that he plays is fine i will say this he is super fun the way that he plays that's the only thing the, the way he actually goes about jumping on enemies and doing his spirit ring doing this doesn't get old and it's it's super fun and i wouldn't trade this right i'm a, i'm okay with this but it just needs to be a little bit better i would say maybe make the small changes to his kit to make it make a little bit more sense um maybe his claws change his passive to where maybe his claws apply some sort of slow um i take that over the damage because the additional damage doesn't mean anything if i can't hit my targets um maybe i don't know uh then when he's climbing up walls he should be able to perch on the wall and wait i i don't like the fact that he like climbs up the wall and then has to jump off it i feel like he should stay on the wall kind of like spider-man does or whatever um his ult if it's not going to do more damage I, i'm actually okay with the ult mm, I'm, I, I'm half okay with the ult not doing more damage 
if you're not going to give the ult more damage, I think that they should buff the spin kick to... It should automatically stop right here. That should be a no-brainer. I feel like this should be a thing. But also... Whew, but also, it should apply some sort of slow debuff and maybe do a little bit more damage. Um, and I feel like maybe I'm, I'm asking for a lot. But... It's not as if Black Panther is like kind of weaker than the other characters. He's significantly weaker than the other characters. And I don't really understand why. So, I don't know. That's pretty much all I have for this video. With all that being said, I do still enjoy playing him as a character just because of the way you play him. I think it's more fun to go around like chucking the spears and like trying to hit my spirit rins than playing somebody like Punisher. I Only even though he's like a really good play. character, I'm this is that's boring to me. I'm I'm not gonna lie to you. Um even sitting here stationary doing this no this is actually pretty good. this is pretty cool. I'm not gonna not gonna lie but you know that's only here and there i don't play punisher because most of your gameplay is going to be this right here it's going to be just this and that's just not fun to me so yeah he's fun but he just needs a couple of buffs to make him a little bit better and i think he'd be a viable character and i hope uh they make these changes or at least some type of changes before the actual game drops all right that's pretty much all i had thank you guys for watching i'll see you at the next video